What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've come to visit this abandoned farm. Plenty of buildings outside here to go and check out, but first of all, we're gonna go check out that building just behind me. Let's get straight into it. Looks like this has been put against the door to stop people coming in. And look at the cobwebs that are built up and dead spiders. You can just see the key in the door there. So they've obviously locked it and then left it. And you can see it's been abandoned for quite a while because all the vines are coming through. The amount of spiders on there. Oh God, that is my worst nightmare. Wow. Some good bits in here, look. Oh cool, look at that. Remote control car. Like a dashboard off an old car, that look. And we've got some Haynes manuals here. And then we've got, what's that one there? Morris. Morris Marini. Vauxhall Carlton. 1978 to 86. There's a lot on shelf there. Where am I looking? Oh, God, yeah. So a Ford Capri. That's Pretty cool. Oh, nice. Capri owner's manual. And we've got a Vauxhall Victor helmet imp. And on the side, we've got more Vauxhall Victor, Volvos, BMWs. There's even some more down here. Bedford van, Vauxhall Astra, 80 to 84. That'll be like a Mark 1, I think. I'd love to go through all these books and see what else is in there. This looks like one of them monkey's hats. Wow, look at that big chunk, guys. Nice big piece of wood there for a beam. It looks like this room started to be renovated. Maybe at some point the house was being renovated. There's all fresh plaster on the wall, look. Look at that, bright pink. Bright pink. I think I prefer avocado green. What about you? Quite nice as well. What? Yeah. Bright pink. It's like baby pink. It's, right? not, it's not even a nice pink, it's a horrible pink. Oh god. That looks scary. Yeah, it's holding the roof up, look. There's a bath with a mattress on it. Oh yeah, another bath. Yeah. Mattress bath. Like that. TV there as well. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't think we're going to be able to go to that one. Yeah, I don't think this end of the house is very safe. It doesn't look like it. It def definitely doesn't look like it. Not worth like. These rods holding it up. Oh god. Kingfisher book of 1001 questions and answers. Why do desert plants often have thick, fleshy leaves? How do ferns grow? Who discovered that germs cause disease? Oh, we were talking about Vaseline the other day. Vaseline? Um, yeah, there was something about it. Who is? Pally. No way, not Postman Pat. <laughs> it looks to me like a lot of things have been taken out of this house. 
because when my friend came, there was a lot more stuff here. Some really, really interesting collectible items as well. And there's, there's not a lot left here at all. I'm thinking that most of these people here, all these people that decide to come and write on the walls, I reckon that they've, they've taken stuff. Curious what's in this suitcase. Absolutely nothing. Lots of books left behind. Yeah, this looks like old nursery rhymes. Little poems. The King of Hearts. Little Miss Muffet. Funny looking up to Duck Tales. Duck Tales. It's written like um, Indiana Jones, I think, isn't it? Mm. It looks like it. Oh, cassettes. Oh, we have cassettes. Get we've got cassettes. The swinging 60s. I think. Mm, busy making progress. Hot chocolate. To my oh, where? I believe in miracles. So, yeah, back when my friend came here, I have seen the photos and oh my god, what was that? Something oh. hanging of it. Um, it got me twice. So back when my friend came here, there was like a stereo, like a Coca-Cola can stereo. Big thing that you open up. I think the two front doors would have been speakers and then there would have been like a, a tape player. Don't think it would have been a CD player, but it was like a big Coca-Cola can. That was in here, that's gone. There was some books that were quite important books. If you're a football fan, I thought that was a real coin on the floor then. So, if I remember, they were Bobby or Jackie Charlton books about them, basically. And they definitely look like there'd be some rare collectible items and I can't find them in here. Looks like they've gone as well. So people have been in here and definitely been taking stuff with them. Look at that key on the wall. It's a bit random, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Grab a picture of it. Is that what you put? Um, like air freshener and powder in. I think it is. Maybe on the window you would have shown some. Yeah, and then the smell sort of comes out of them. I think they are. I'm sure my nan used to have one of them. I've never seen them before. Yeah, see, there's one in here as well. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool wardrobe, though, look. Shirts, underwear, pyjamas, sportswear. County cookery book. Let's go for cookery. Oh my god, again. Yeah, you, you come in. Yeah. Watch the steps, they are moving because you walk on them. That'll be fine, I'm sure. Maybe the Coca Cola stereos will be here. That's a cool Barbie car. Big Barbie Jeep. Yeah, okay. Loads more books. Definitely a children's bedroom. Okay, there's no Coca Cola stereo here, but there is a door there. Wonder where that door leads. Shall we go see? Oh my god, the floor's bowing down. Not safe. Just an empty room. That'd be my walk-in wardrobe. Oh god, I can't walk in, guys. It does not feel good at all. Like there's holes everywhere. Hello? Any Coca Cola stereos up here? Where are you? The whole house is just falling down. If you have, feel safe, does it? No, it's the sort of same layout as the coffee maker's house. Yeah. Same layout. Like there's a front door there, isn't it, behind you? Which is where the front door was in the coffee maker's, and then yeah. I came upstairs just like this. 
and then these floors were just collapsing right under my feet. Doesn't feel very safe at all. I think we'll go back down because I'm very, very much on edge here. Very itchy because we walked through a lot of nettles to get here. And also, there's a lot of spider webs, cobwebs, etc. It's very, very damp. Oh God. Four or five times that's got me now. Keep walking past that, it keeps getting me. For your bag? I was just playing with it. Oh yeah, they like old fashioned sort of bag parts, aren't they? Oh look guys, a dog kennel. Oh, so sad. Doggy house. We have a car over there, look. It looks like a bit of a wreck, but we're gonna go check it out. Oh my God, look at the roof. The roof's just like bowed in the middle. All the tiles are just sunken. Check the roofs over you. Gosh. Crazy, aren't they? I'm not sure if there's anything to actually see in there. Doesn't look like it. Just a load of little barns. Oh, there's a caravan there, look. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is the thing with the UK. I don't know if you get this in other countries. Tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong and you do. But when an area doesn't get maintained, this is all you get. That caravan is just taken over now by nettles. Like, you can't even walk through that, look, there's nettles. You're gonna get so many scratches and stings. Tell me if I'm wrong, do you get this in the USA? Do you get nettles growing like this? Because every time I watch an Airbex video, it never seems this bad. What car is it? Um, it's a shell of... Oh, that's the front. Yeah. I thought it's this was the back. Something. God, I can't even begin to think what it could be. Small hatchback, whatever it is. Anybody recognize this car? Can anybody name this car? 10 points to Gryffindor if you can name this car. I am just clueless, I've got no idea. Cars. Wow. Oh. Look at that old Astra, that's a Mark 1 Astra that is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Yeah, on the front. This is a... Is this a Vauxhall Victor? I bet you know. I think with that on the bonnet sticking out, I think it is. No state. There's no badges, so it's hard to say. Vauxhall. Ricky from the USA. It very well could be a Buick. <laughs> now, if, you, if you're from Europe, it's going to be an Opal. If you're from Australia, it's going to be a Holden. Some blue door. Look at that van door. Blue door. Whoa, look at this rocket car. <laughs> Someone's made a rocket car. I can hear that tractor, but I can't see it. There's a, there's a tractor out here, a big John Deere, plowing that field. You can see it's all fresh. And there's a house right down the far end. I'm assuming that's where the tractor farm is from. Not the tractor's from, the farm is from. Really love the old nostalgic retro voxels. Look at them wing mirrors. So nice. And these vents on the back. And then you press these. And they should come out and that make you can put your roof bars on. Should you want them. I don't know if actually new hatchbacks have these on. You used to have these covers for your roof bars if you wanted them. Um, oh, yeah, I was just going to say, in a lot of these old cars have pull out aerials as well. You see? Every time you wanted the radio on, you'd have to pull your aerial out like that. When was the last time you saw a car with a big aerial on the front like that? When you think about it, it looks so bad, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> like, we used to have a Fiesta with that on, and it'd have an aerial the same, you'd have to pull it up. And you don't realise how bad it actually looks.
Wow. And there's your to adjust your mirrors, look. Shame these cars are just sitting here rotting. Boxwell Astro. Again, this is another one of those houses that we drive past quite a lot and we've never just come to it like because it's in such an awkward place. My friend told me about it. He came probably two, maybe two or three years ago now. I wonder if there's any, any badges in there. I have What's that say there? Ferguson. Massey Ferguson, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Looks like it says Ferguson to me. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.